In this video, we will continue with Introduction to Vectors. You will find this on page 226 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Cartesian components of vectors, base vectors. In two-dimensional space called the O, X, Y plane, there are two perpendicular vectors. The unit vector in the X direction is called I and the unit vector in the Y direction is called J. In the diagram OP, OP, XI and YJ, where X and Y are scalars. For example, if point P has the coordinate 4, 3, then the vector OP is 4I plus 3J. This can be extended to three-dimensional space. The unit vector in the Z direction is called K. In this diagram, OP is some scalar multiple of i plus some scalar multiple of j plus some scalar multiple of k. Therefore, OQ, okay, there is Q, is xi plus yj plus zk, where x, y, and z are scalars. For example, if point Q has the coordinate 3, 2, 4, then vector OQ is 3i plus 2j plus 4 Okay. okay, let's just go through this note. The difference between a coordinate point and a vector. The number 4, 3 represent a set of coordinates, referring to a point P. But the expression 4i plus 3j is a vector, the position vector OP, an alternate way of writing this as a column vector. 4, 3 means the same as 4i plus 3j. Both refer to the vector OP. This is the same in three dimensions. The number x, y, and z represent a set of coordinates, referring to a point Q. But the expression xi plus yj plus zk is a vector, the position vector OQ, therefore x, y, z, means the same as xi plus yj plus zk both refer to the vector o u. Okay, with that in mind, let's look at the example. Find the coordinates of r, where o r is 2. o r is in the direction 8i plus j minus 4k. Let's find the unit vector in the direction of o r. So the magnitude of um, 8i plus j minus 4k. Okay, so let's first find the magnitude with Pythagoras theorem. Okay, and we get 9. Then the unit vector in this direction is 1 over 9. We get this. I get a bit bigger, that you see even better. Now, note that the vector above has a mag magnitude of 1, if you work out this magnitude. So if OR is 2, the magnitude, then OR is 2 times the unit vector, which will then, if you simplify this, give you this. So point R is going to be 69, 2 over 9, negative 8 over 9. And that is the way that we are going to do it. I think we're going to just do one. It's very basic. So you can stop the video and you can do number 1. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's just go. Number one. Find the coordinates of R, where OR is 6, okay? And OR is in the direction. Okay, so first, we are going to find the magnitude. Of, now we're going to write that. 2i minus 3j plus 6k. Okay, and that is going to be, so it's going to be 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 6 squared. And that is going to be 4 plus 9 plus 36, and that's going to be the square root of 49, which is going to be 7. Okay, so now 
the unit vector in the direction oh let's just get the pen correct in the direction of Q or um, O or and now it's going to be 1 over the 7 and this is 1 so it's 2i minus 3j plus 6k and that is going to be 2 over 7i minus 3 over 7j plus 6 over 7k. Okay, so this is now going to be basically, but now I'm going to go on. So let's just take another color. So if, okay, there it is, if O or equals 6, then the vector OR, that was the magnitude, the vector OR is going to be 6 times this unit vector which I created. Let's just put it up. Okay, and now I'm going to get, if I multiply, put it over 1, so it's 12 over 7i minus 18 over 7j plus 6 times 6, 36 over 7i. Okay, so therefore, and now I can end, so therefore, point R. And now I'm basically just taking the front values, grab the sign. So it's 12 over 7, comma, negative 18 over 7, comma, 36 over 7. And that is going to be point R.